Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you all are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, I was getting your lots of comments and lots of requests that to make a video specifically on how to prepare for Accenture Technical Assessment, right? So in this video, I will be telling you what are the resources, what are the some topics you need to prepare for ACE the Technical Assessment, right? But before this, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel as this really motivates me to make more such content for you and for your placement profession. Alright, so let's first of all discuss about the cognitive ability part. Although I have already mentioned in a video that this is a particular syllabus and these are the important topics and the, uh, the video is about how to prepare for Accenture and the next video I uploaded what is the syllabus of Accenture so you can check out the, both of the videos on the same channel and also if you are preparing for the same you can refer the playlist on the same channel okay so let's discuss about the cognitive so in cognitive part you will be having the questions from verbal ability and then from reasoning and there are two types of reasoning critical reasoning and abstract reasoning right and uh, in some cases might be you will be having the questions from aptitude as well because the last year in some slots the aptitude questions were there as well right no not so many questions but yeah five to six questions or ten to twelve questions but in only some slots so this is not mandatory that in your slot as well there will be aptitude question but it can be a case to be prepared with the basics right you can prepare with percentage you can prepare with mixture and allegation train ages basic basic fundamentals only but it's not mandatory that in your exam as well it will come okay so uh, for cognitive ability you can refer my channel or you can uh, refer india which to uh, for more practice and what i would suggest as you don't have so much time so what you can do is first of all go through with all the previous year papers on my channel there are multiple videos uh, of complete papers and on different different topics that are actual questions that were recently asked or in previously asked in the exchanger exam so you can have a look on those questions okay that what type of questions Accenture is asking right so once you have analyzed so definitely you will know that in what topics you need to be more focused on and in what topics you are weak right so you can more focus on that topic suppose in bubble ability you are not good at para jumbles so go and check out some videos on any channel you want to or you can refer my channel and after that you can solve the questions from India Wix or Career Ride or any resources that you want to follow but these two are most recommended reports, resources I will give the link in the description as well right same pattern you can apply for each and every section like for reasoning ability as well for aptitude as well if you want to and uh, for bubble ability right now let's come into the technical assessment so in technical assessment there are three sections right First is pseudo course, there will be 18 questions. Then the next is common applications and MS Office. And the next is cloud and network security. So let's discuss one by one. So for pseudo course, as this is very important part of your technical assessment, so what you can do is, is you can refer my channel because there are multiple videos already uploaded on my channel and daily basis I am adding some more videos, right? But if you are completely new at solving pseudo course, so what topics you should cover first? any of the programming language but the top recommended are c++ or java because uh, i'm not saying that the pseudo code will be uh, dependent on any programming language but again if you know c++ basics or java basics then definitely it will help you i'm not saying that python person cannot solve pseudo codes right they can solve but uh, we all know that python is a less line of code programming language right and in pseudo codes uh, you will feel like what is uh, what is it uh, you will be feeling some kind of difficulty so that's why I am saying if you are completely new at uh, pseudo codes so go through with C++ basics or Java basics you can refer any of the programming language now from where you have to learn uh, because I would suggest you to uh, see the one shot video so I will add the link in the description or in the telegram community I will share all the resources so you can join the telegram community now what topics you should prepare so these are the topics you can see on the screen first of all fundamentals of any programming then loops concept then arrays concept what is recursion how it works then operators and especially there are three types of operators generally asked in pseudo course bitwise operator logical operator and increment and decrement operator obviously assignment operator is everywhere but three uh, are the recommended operators that you should brush up your 
skills on these operators now the next is conditional statement like if else sometimes switch case statement as well but yeah if if else is uh, most important next and the next is basic data set like you can go through with array or string uh might be they will ask the questions from stack and uh, some other data uh, data structure because in the previous paper they have asked only the questions from fundamentals loops array recursion operators conditional statement right so this is all about so report now let's come on to the next part that is cloud and network security so these are the listed topics now i am telling one by one that in these topics as well what you need to prepare so the first is basics of networking so in that what you need to cover is what is networking how many types of network devices are there what is topology and how it works how many types of topologies are there then after that you need to complete your osi and tcp ip model right and in that you need to memorize the functionality of each and every layer and which protocol works on which layer right so i will be adding all the resources from where you need to prepare this in the telegram community you can access the ppt from the same right and it is absolutely free now after that you need to have a look on network security services there are some uh, network security services then after that what you can do is go through with encryption and decryption algorithm i am not saying that you have to deep dive into concepts but but you need to familiarize with the concept right then the next topic is network security devices there are multiple network security devices so you have to be prepared with them then attack types what are the attack types like there are two types of attacks in cyber security uh, passive attacks and active attacks in that as well there are multiple types like masquerade attack man in a middle attack and some are uh, like data modification type of attack these type of attacks are there so you need to go through with all of these like what are they how they will work right and the next is you need to be prepared this firewall firewall sometimes they can ask the question from firewall but yes you should have the knowledge of firewall as well then fundamentals of cloud computing or cloud services right so how many types of cloud service model are there there are uh, three to four types like ias saas and what are the examples of each like saas example like salesforce is an example of with cloud service so salesforce is an example of saas software as a service then platform as a service then infrastructure as a service so you have to be prepared that what are these and what are the examples of these right the next is client server architecture there can be questions from client server architecture like how it works or indirectly they can ask but if you have the knowledge if you know the theory part then definitely you can mark the answer right and the next is cloud data centers and these and then at last cloud service provider so these all are the topics that you need to cover from cloud and network security part i know that ye sunne mein bahut zyada lag rahe hain but trust me when i will give you the resources then and you will go through with these then definitely you will be able to uh, answer more number of questions right apart from that when you to apart from that what you need to do is you need to solve previous year papers you need to solve previous year questions from each section again on my channel you will be having all the playlist available so you can refer uh, the playlist right all right so now let's come on to the next part which is common applications and ms office so there are five things in ms office first is ms excel then the second is ms powerpoint ms paint ms outlook and one more is left uh, ms word right so they will ask you the questions from shortcut keys so i will be giving so i will give the all shortcut keys from ms word from ms office ms outlook ms powerpoint ms paint in a pdf form so definitely you can check out from the telegram right after video uploading within 6 to 7 hours i will give the pdf with all the resources with all the things right so you have to wait for it because uh, it's a time taking process but i will definitely give you trust me right so uh, once you have done with these all shortcut tricks because there are five to four uh, sorry four to five questions uh, will be from uh, the shortcut keys from powerpoint or from word or from outlook as well now you uh, you have to come on ms excel so in ms excel what is uh, important so in ms excel there are multiple types of functions suppose there are statistical functions there are some uh, analytical functions there are financial functions and mathematical functions and some functions as well so 
although i will give you all the types of functions and from where you can learn i will be adding the links and resources just you need to go through with all these resources and you have to take a look right then after that uh, suppose uh, now let's come on to the powerpoint so in powerpoint there are multiple types of tab like home tab insert tab review tab this tab uh, blah 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 right so in each tab what are the some so they can ask you something specific from a particular tab right uh, suppose in ms paint they can ask you what type of selection are available in uh, paint so there are two types of selection available in paint rectangular selection and free form selection right so these are uh, these type of questions they can ask so yeah in my knowledge these are the topics that you should definitely prepare for your exam apart from it don't forget to refer previous year papers and previous year questions because while you solve the previous year papers you know that where you are standing and at what and at which topic you need to be more focused on right and what are the some important uh, things that uh, are asking again and again that in uh, reasoning coding decoding is really very important syllogism is really very important same in ms uh, in ms office especially in ms excel functions questions are really very important right so yeah that's all for today from my side i will meet in the next video till then bye bye and take care and don't worry about the resources i will definitely share it in your ppt format or in a pdf format right so but you need to do join the telegram community also you can follow me in instagram for more such updates okay so let's meet in the next video till then bye bye